Hello everyone and today I have a grocery haul that I wanted to show you guys and this is actually Aldi and Walmart. I had to go to Walmart and get some items that um, Aldi did not have and um, yeah so let me show you. I end up spending, let's see, I end up spending $120. One twenty-five in Walmart and one oh three in Aldi. So one oh three in Aldi and one twenty-five in Walmart. And that was more than what I wanted to spend. So I uh, am disappointed in that. I didn't want to go over 140 but I had to get some other essential items and also it was a little higher because we are working on making our diet a little bit healthier now I want to say this at the beginning um, no one's perfect with their um, diet no one's perfect um, it's a work in progress I do know how to eat um, or we do know how to eat a little bit healthier uh, I just wanted to say this at the beginning um, just so um, some of the items that I show you, some of them are processed, some of them will have sodium in it, but there's some, some of my go-to items when I'm trying to drop some weight. So lately, guys, I have not been, um, being transparent with you. I have not been satisfied with, um, some things, and I had some goals that I wanted to reach this year, and one of them is losing weight. So I always put my family first and I always tend to put myself on the back burner and fitness is something that's always going to come up in my household because my husband, um, he went to school, he majored in health and fitness. So he loves, um, working out. He loves fitness, but he's also a foodie. You know, he, when he grew up, he, I was also in sports. Um, but when he grew up, he was in sports, um, he was a big boy, and then he ended up losing a lot of weight, and he just loves it. So he ended up playing football, majoring in health and fitness. So it's always, make a long story short, always in our um, for, forefront of our household. He doesn't, um, he doesn't make me do anything. He doesn't, um, you know, get on me. He doesn't scold me. He doesn't belittle me or anything. He lets me be me. And that's one reason why I love him so much. So let me show you this haul. And I'm just kind of, you know, um, fed up. I'm at the point where I'm fed up with some things. And I really love Weight Watchers. I've done that so many times off and on. I love it because it works for me. It works for my um, family. It's a lifestyle change and not a diet. Um, and... I think many a times people try to get in these fads and they have these diets and they drop the weight, but it's a life, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's not a diet. And if you just try to do these diet fasts, it's just going to come back or you're going to lose the weight. If you lose it fast, the wrong way, it's going to come back. And, you know, and having him in my household that also, you know, has, um, not having him in my household, but he has also taught me a lot of things as far as um, health and fitness go. So, anyway, let me show you what I picked up from Aldi. So, I'm going to have to stop this video and do my meal plan because I'm really tired today. I was already exercised today. And, of course, for the boys, I picked up chicken nuggets. We have three loaves of bread, whole wheat, honey wheat. If it was my choice, and I probably still will go back, I will get the 100% whole grain bread. And they don't have a problem eating it, but they will, you know, stick their nose up to it. But I have no problem because my mom, she used to buy that when I was growing up. Some ranch dressing for them. I have light for myself. Um, I do know you can do um, vinegar, make your own vinaigrette dressing. I know how to do that. Um, lips and onion soup mix. Let's see, that was 99 cents. It's a better buy at the Dollar Tree because you get three for a dollar. Um, onions, they were $1.49. Cream of mushroom soup. And the only reason why I have 
this is to make shepherd's pie which one of my subscribers mentioned something have i ever thought about making that for them they love it because it's a good feeling fooling meal for them i know it's hot in the summertime but you know they don't care um picked up two things of romaine hearts and bacon bits so we have salad i have salad lunchtime we probably gonna have salad tomorrow and um some sliced cheese i do not skimp on the cheese i do not buy fat free cheese uh because it just don't taste right i'll go ahead and just use my two extra points for my um for regular sliced cheese taco season we'll have tacos one day and some tilapia whole grain um a whole chicken and i like to roast these i place the onion in them and some celery season them up real good um roast them in the um oven and i like to have them in the um refrigerator so if someone wants to make sandwiches or just have a salad with some chicken breast or anything um that's great to have um throughout the entire week or for a couple of days I saw this turkey smoked sausage with the jalapeno. I love jalapenos. So I picked that up. It's probably a lot. I don't know how many Weight Watcher points. But it was $2.49, so I picked it up. I love um, when I want a snack, and I'm trying to cut back. And a lot. Of, another tip I learned is if a lot of times you think you're hungry, you want something sweet, drink you some water. Um, especially if you change your diet, because... Um, a lot of times you're craving things and really you're just craving water. So that helps. So I get me a big glass of water and I use, I'll cut me a couple of pieces, slices of cheese, uh, a couple of pieces of ham. I'll roll those up. Uh, a few, if I want something sweet, a few raisins maybe. And then I'll also for protein, I'll, and I hate it buying these today, but they are so expensive. But they are good, healthy fat. And the oven roasted almonds. Um, I probably should have got it without the sea salt, but um, I didn't. So it was $5.49 for those. This was $1.29 or $1.49. I got the light sour cream. Um, I think that was $1.19. The hickory smoked ham, $3.39. And yeah, this is the ham. So usually I put this on a sandwich or either I'll um, roll it up like the little platters or something. And then some shredded cheese. This was $3.49. The taco style, $3.49. Um, home style waffles for the boys, uh, $1.29. I may stop buying these lunch um, buddies because... When I put it on my breakfast bar, they are eating it like a snack instead of breakfast. And they're going through them. I mean, they'll take them to the head and open it up, pour it in their mouth like they're drinking it. And, you know, so I may stop buying these. Um, chicken breast, $6.49 or $6.99, I can't remember. Cucumbers, $0.44. Cent. I got two. The bananas, I didn't get organic this time. They're $0.44 cents a pound. Um, I picked the boys up some dino, dinosaur shaped gummies, vitamins. I have not picked these up in a while and they need some vitamins. So these are $3.99. They really like them. Um, they go by really fast. I have purchased them from Walmart because I think a serving size is. Yeah, if they're two to three years old, one gummy is a serving size. And four years and up, two gummies. So it's not but 60 in here. So, and both of them take it. So that goes by really quickly. Um, um, baby spinach. I picked this up today. It was $2.49. Um, this is also good. I picked up the organic kind for um, smoothies in the morning. So... I bought the Nutribullet a while back, and they have like little recipes on give you more energy. This one is for maybe to help you get more circulation, just different ones. And so I picked that up for that and also um, to add more greenery to our salad. So I didn't get the mixed greens today. Um, some yogurt for JJ. This is $179. To increase his calcium because he doesn't drink milk anymore. Like he should. 
And then um, they're not the best, but flour tortillas, they're 119. The eggs, two, I don't remember. I think they're 229 or something like that. And then let's see, Aldi raisins, they were 229 or 239. The light ranch, 129. The fit and active lean turkey, uh, 249. And I think that's um, my tissue. I think this was 499. And this is compared to Scott. So I got tired of buying the little ones. I don't know why I was doing that. And that's it from Aldi, I believe, and my milk. My milk and two cases of water, which is a good price now. It's one ninety nine. It's usually two forty nine. No, two, two something. I think. So, Walmart. I picked up two broccoli cuts, and I picked these up because they because they were ninety ninety eight cent, and I think they're at Aldi now one nineteen or one twenty nine, and they used to be ninety nine cents. Um, I picked up the sweet peas. They were 98 cents as well. Um, cut green beans, two bags of those, and the mixed vegetables. Um, I also picked up this Lena O'Lakes and um, this is really great. Get the glare off. The garlic and herb, and this is really great for um, cooking. And I just wanted this on hand. It is like some type of um, it's butter and olive oil cooking squares and I know this is not great for um, maybe you're trying to cut back but again add the points in maybe to a day where you're having some bland vegetables and you're having grilled turkey and you just or some fish or something and you need to add a little bit more to it so I can't get this in Aldi I have not seen I'm not seeing that garlic and herb stuff in my Aldi but maybe um, maybe it'll come up Cause I would use that instead. Anyway, I picked these trim. Um, what's it called? Neat feet. So the callus remover and the callus corn shaver thing um, with the razor blade. I picked that up and um, let's see. These tomatoes, they look just like the ones from Aldi's, but they came from Walmart today. They're 144 a pound. Um, these bite Chiquita um, sliced apples, the green ones. I love, I love these. I'm not a fan of, I will eat an apple, but I eat it more of them if it's like this. So, two of the hot dogs for the boys. I love the chicken hot dogs. I, I will eat these before I will eat ballpark. I don't know why, but I will. These are chicken hot dogs. And, um, Let's see, chicken patties for my husband and the boys. I don't like these. And mashed potatoes. Oh, this came from Aldi. So, um, yeah, usually with their potatoes, you have to doctor them up a little bit more. I may make my own because I do have some red potatoes from the other week. And then the um, this is 80-20. This is the five pound. And usually, I know some people don't like their meat in a tube, but um, this is better on my budget. This is $10.00 and some change for this so um what i usually do is you know so they have these marks up here and before i put it in the refrigerator or freezer i will cut this up probably in thirds so i used to have to cut it in fourths um it depends on what i have it planned for for my meals throughout the week so part of that be tacos and part of that will be something else i don't even know yet and then um when I'm trying to cut back on soda, I love to pick these up. Um, what brand is this? Zero. And I love the Fiji apple and the cherry lime. And I think it's another one. And these are 68 cents at Walmart. The only thing is that um, <laughs> once you open them, seem like I love a strong soda or a strong carbonated drink. And once you open these things, um, it's like you need to go ahead and drink it all or give it usually i end up giving it away um because they're not that strong when you try to go back to it so um my family loves the great value um drink mix or any kind of sugar free and usually when i start declining my sugar intake i can just drink maybe a little bit of sugar free and i know a lot of people do not like sugar free um I can drink a cup of this or a little bit of this and it will take away my sugar craving so I won't need any um, 
candy bars or anything like that and so that's when I know I'm doing pretty good um let's see I picked up these Michelinias for Josiah the popping chicken and that looks like it says white chicken nugget patties um fritters and fun form mashed potatoes so see if he likes that when he's not eating what we're eating and macaroni and cheese I used to pick these up they have changed a lot or some stores have different things since um I used to get them for Cottrell so I don't know if I got them for JJ or not shrimp alfredo lean cuisine I usually don't pick these up I cringe at them because I try to watch the sodium intake and then also but the um the price these were two dollars and 88 cents i think some of them were 214 but i thought this one was really um looked really good fiesta grilled chicken i picked this one up i did not calculate the points i may calculate them and put it at the bottom of the screen um spaghetti and meatballs so this would be good for a lunch and i add a veggie with it when um i don't feel like cooking or if like i make them shepherd's pie or if i um I'm trying to think want this for lunch one day so yeah um salisbury steak with macaroni and cheese i picked those up and see uh sometimes i will spend money on some things some things i just won't but that, what's that that was probably like eight nine ten um eleven or twelve dollars right there yeah so it might have been a coupon somewhere i picked the grapes up from um walmart today because they didn't look bad and then i didn't want to go to aldi and they were kind of mushy so um some diet sun kiss i'm not a big fan of diet drinks um i want to wean myself off of them i have done that before um a couple of times but um i have to start somewhere so the Diet Sun Kiss, I can tolerate that. And then I picked up some Diet Dr. Pepper, caffeine free, because um, I love Dr. Pepper. And Josiah needed some Pampers. I picked up the big thing. My husband wanted some of this um, whey protein powder. And then a three pack of Pampers wipes for Josiah. And I think that's it, guys. So I'm going to probably stop this video and then show. Um, the meal plan for this week and yeah so guys um yeah the diet is a work in progress and um this is just the first week and this should be enough groceries probably maybe yeah the last is two weeks i'm gonna make it last and 